as YouTube is going to 73 make another video and uh, not looking at a knife or anything like that we're looking at a gear item today and this is a fire steel this particular one is called the Gobspark Armageddon and it is from firesteel.com now this is I mean at the time when I bought this I wanted to get a better fire steel one that was thicker would throw better sparks all that jazz now I stumbled across this one it was recommended to me I don't remember where but recommended to me. Um, this company is based in New Hampshire and they make their stuff in the USA I think. It doesn't say on here but um, yeah. And this is I think it's one of their more expensive package deals but you pretty much get everything and you get a Cadillac fire steel. The main thing that drew me to this was first off the size. I have this custom sheath and it has a you know the fire steel loop on this is 3 8 and this fire steel is 3 8 so that's why I chose this one to begin with. It's called the Gob Spark because I, I was watching a video and the owner said that, you know, because it throws gobs of spark. I'm not going to do it here because I don't want to set anything on fire in my room. So there's that. Um, I don't know why they call it Armageddon. Maybe because, you know, if the world is coming to an end, it's the end of the world as we know it. Zombie apocalypse, you might want this. You never know. Um, the main other thing that drew me to this was the handle. Most fire steels are just either the straight, just a ferro rod like that, or they have a very simple handle. This one is very large, and you know, and I thought it would be really comfortable. Now, my only thing with this is they, I think they, they advise you to hold it like this, between your ring and your middle finger. But personally, I find that holding it like this, with your thumb on top and your index finger on the bottom, and then you have the striker, it allows you to aim very easily. You know, you can aim and shoot the sparks wherever you want them to go. And, um, it's pretty comfortable. I mean, it sort of just locks into your hand. And even for extended use for this, it didn't hurt or anything. Um, it also comes with this length of paracord with their, uh, fire steel striker attached. Now, I have other, I tried other things to strike this with. My uh, Becker BK13 Remora, my SEAH1, and this did the best. It's basically just a very squared off piece of carbon steel, as you can see. Very square. And these edges really do throw sparks kind of not very well. And you can see that um, it has a flare at the end right there, so when you're holding it, it feels just very good in your hand. And, um,. You know, you can just, and there's enough paracord on here so that you can extend past the end of the fire steel when you throw the sparks. And it's nice because it's all self contained, you know. And just a quick uh, size comparison. I have my, another the video I just did Cold Steel Large Voyager. So you can see it's about, I don't know, maybe four inches long, three eighths of an inch thick. And the fire steel like this will last you a very long time. It'll, it's probably good for like 10,000 fires. You know, I mean, really, that's probably more than anyone will start in their life, and uh, probably a few lifetimes. So, I mean, it's very nice. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, that's all, really. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. If you want to see how this thing throws sparks, I did another video on it a while back, back in August, and I'll annotate it in maybe right there. I'll try and annotate it right there so you guys can watch it. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, take it easy. See you next video. Bye.